All right, I've got my wires put in the order of the T568B standard. So that's striped orange, orange, striped green, blue, striped blue, green, striped brown, brown. I'm just gonna kind of work the wires so that they're flat, but stay in the right order. So using my scissors, I'm just going to cut the wires down to about the length of my RJ45 connector. And it's gonna make a mess in the meantime, but that's okay. And once I've done that, I'm just going to push them into the connector, ensuring that they stay in the right order. Now, this is the trick with these non-pass-through connectors. The first time, I kind of press the wires quite hard into the connector, and then I just pull them back out. And then using my scissors, I just trim a tiny little bit at the end here just to make sure that they're all completely flat, like that. And I'll just push them back into the RJ45 connector here, kind of press them in a little hard, and if we look at the very end of the connector here, we can see that all the wires are touching the very end of the connector, which is what we want. All right, now we crimp the cable to the connector. So I'm just going to put it in my crimping tool like that. And I'm going to make sure that everything is aligned and the wires are pushed in. I'll press down really hard for a second and I'll pull it out. And if we look at all the pins and the plastic tab at the top, they're all pressed down into the wires and into the insulation here. So we know that the crimp was successful and I also can't pull the connector off. Now, if you're using pass-through connectors, at this point, you'll wanna cut the wires with scissors or even a razor blade on the outside of the connector and get it as flush with the edge of the connector here as you can. And that's it, we're done on this side. Now, you'll just wanna repeat the exact same process on the other side, so I'll do that here and I'll come back once I'm done. All right, I've got my connectors crimped on both sides and now if you're using strain relief boots, at this point, you can bring them up and just put them over the connectors. And one thing I like to do is almost work this tab cover a bit on both sides with my thumb to break it in. Otherwise, I find they can be too stiff and sometimes they press on the release tabs on the connector and it makes the cable come out of whatever device it's attached to, so that's not good. So I just like to work those in a bit and just make them a little less stiff. And that's it, I have an ethernet cable.